Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. Not too long ago, we saw the release of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Editions, and, well, to say the least, a lot of people were happy. And rightfully so, they just didn't offer a lot, or in some cases detracted from the original games for $60. So, Today we'll be looking at a pretty neat fan mod that promises to deliver what the remasters couldn't. This is GTA San Andreas Next Gen Plus Plus, and well, I think it's going to be really awesome. So let's just get right into it. I'm really excited. I have actually yet to play this. I haven't even opened the EXE yet. I've extracted the folder and it's right here. It looks like it comes with some mods already installed, but not yet activated. So, like, you know, popular things like the Chaos mod, etc., are already uh, installed with the game, it looks like. But let's just go ahead and see what this is like. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess there's there's proof that I haven't even played it yet because it <laughs> I don't have the DLL you need to launch it. So let me go download that real quick. Yes, I know. Wait, what? It says the <laughs> but but it said the DLL is missing, but the game's here and it's working. All right. Hey, I won't complain. Oh, could they not use the original music? That makes sense. Okay, the menu music sounds good. It sounds San Andreasy, but uh, you know. Well, uh, already there's a bit of a problem here. CJ looks pretty good. He looks somewhat higher resolution. I don't know. I don't know if. That's just, like, a, an unfortunate haircut? Or if he got hit in the head with, like, a pan? Because his head is just flat. But some of these signs look a little stretched and blurry, but these... Wow, these vehicle models look excellent. Ooh, okay. So these trees are pretty crusty. I think you can see the blue outlines where they were cut out from, like, whatever image. Shut up. But these these uh, textures look pretty good. Why do I hear gunshots? What's happening? Okay, I was going to fix the screen tearing, but first I gotta investigate what's going on. Never mind, there were gunshots here and now there aren't- Wait, whoa! Hold up. Hold up. What? <laughs> okay. Um Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen Oh, oh neat. Okay, so they went for like a GTA 5 style radio. But these were definitely not in San Andreas. So I assume I think these were in like GTA 4. So I presume that they took the file from GTA 4 and somehow imported it into San Andreas. So this is like... Wow! I'm quite impressed with this. Oh, so like GTA 5, it shows like a, a route on the map of how to get to places. That's cool. Nice. Oh, the smoke... The smoke effects look really good. That's a good-looking particle effect. Wow! Okay, so I'm really impressed with the visuals in this game. For the most part. There are some things... You know, there are some glitched textures, some stuff like that. But it's excusable when it's a fan remaster and not a $60 definitive edition. 
Uh, this is completely free to download, I should mention. Oh, hell yeah, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. These were also not in San Andreas. <laughs> okay, oops. Yeah, how about you? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, good job. Good job. Go in the, uh, go in the ocean. That's a good-looking ocean. But those, like, big, uh car carriers were definitely not in San Andreas, so they've added some new vehicles from new GTA versions. Ah, we might as well make some money as a taxi driver here. Sexual realignment used to require expensive surgery, months of hormone. Today, we marched on... It seems like the radio stations are just the ads. It can't be. It can't be a coincidence that every station I flipped to was the ads. So that made sense. I assume there's some way to import, like, the, uh, the music from the original game. There's probably, you know, you can just drop it into the game folder and the radio stations will load it. I understand why they wouldn't have, like the group that made this, I understand why they wouldn't have distributed that with the game, because that is absolutely grounds for getting sued, whether by Rockstar or by the, the music artists. Because I recall there being a thing with the official remasters where they couldn't get all of the music, so it was missing some of the, the tracks from the radio. The character models look quite good. They're a lot less, uh, they're a lot less blocky. Okay, it looks like, god damn it, it looks like you can only have one marker with the GPS on the map at one time. So, this makes the taxi missions a little more difficult. I'll, uh, I'll remove that once I finish this, uh, this mission. So, so far, I'm very impressed. Uh, very, very impressed with this. Oh, look at that reflection on the road. So this is fantastic. I mean, at this point, it, it doesn't even feel like I'm playing San Andreas anymore. And I feel like that's because this is not the San Andreas engine. Or at least I'm confident that this is not. There's no way that even a total conversion mod would be able to make GTA San Andreas look like this. There have been some, uh, some G uh, GTA San Andreas total conversions. Like, uh, like all the funny bootleg Russian ones. Those are hilarious. But they still look like shit, because it's, like, legitimately the San Andreas engine. So this is definitely some sort of new special sauce that they're using. And that's how they're able to get all of the, uh, all of the new car models and that sort of thing in. So I'm very... I, this is like the eighth time I've said this, but I'm very impressed. What? How? How did that happen? <laughs> okay. Damn, what kind of goober, what, what cartoon villain put invisible ramps by all the roads? Oh, you got some nice moves there. Okay, I think we'll do a few more taxi missions and then we'll, uh, we'll do some more stuff. Oh, of course this one is, like, across the map. There are definitely some jagged edges, definitely some, uh... Ooh, yeah, like that crosswalk. There... oops. Definitely some crusty-looking pixels. But overall, this is very, very good-looking. And it's very well-optimized as well. I'm running this on... A 9800 GT. I have two of them, but I disabled SLI because, well, I have a feeling this game wouldn't really use it. 
but this is running max settings on a 9800GT, so it, it's quite well optimized because it seems to be running at a pretty constant 60 or so. So for the next gen remaster, well, before I was interrupted, for the next gen remaster, you really only need something from like 2008 to run it well. Well, actually, this is an opportunity. My car is about to explode. Whoa. Are you supposed to look like that? Okay, I think you're supposed to look like that. It looked like a missing texture for a moment. But my car is about to explode, so I'm going to uh, help that happen really quickly because I want to see what the explosions and fire and etc. look like. Oh, I was hoping I could land upside down there. Whoa! That looks insane! That looks really good! Damn! Okay, so that's some really good fire effects. Uh, and, a, and a, a, an awesome explosion that they've got here. Wait, that guy stopped really suddenly. Hold up, I want to see if the other cars do that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's... that's pretty cool. <laughs> There is literally no way to get run over in this game. So the car models look great. Oops. Oh, nice. I don't even need to buy a gun now. Hey, police officer, look what I have. Whoa, where did you come from? I like how the gang members have infinitely better weapons than the police force. <laughs> it's just like real life. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into here? So the HUD and the user interface are definitely like GTA 5 style. And I really, I really like it. It's, it's certainly quite unique. Oh, something I should test is if there are ragdoll physics. I keep looking- damn, stop it. I keep looking up and to the right for my health bar, but I- but it's like GTA 5, so it's down and to the left, it's under the map. Okay, I've really- I've really gotten myself into some stuff here. Also, this police car is ludicrously fast. Holy shit. This is insane. I feel like the stuff that doesn't work perfectly right makes this so much more fun than the official remasters. Because, like, the, for example, the police car that goes two, two zillion miles an hour, that's hilarious. Goodbye. Oh, oh, cool! So, li <laughs> so like San Andreas, you have six stars. Uh, well, you can get six stars, but it's displayed. It's displayed uh, like G uh, GTA V. <laughs> so it'll be odd seeing six stars in that style, if you know what I mean. <laughs> nice. They <laughs> just got stuck. Hey, I could use this. Whoa. What are you trying to do? Kill me? 
Shit. Oh no. Ah, uh, okay. So that was, that was fun. Combat in this game feels good. And the gun sounds... I don't know. They, they sound a little better than San Andreas. It could just be, you know... Uh, it, it could very well be, like, placebo. But I swear they sound better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I need a weapon. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so the combat is still very San Andreas-y. So, it feels like San Andreas to play, but it looks a, a good deal better. Like, the text, for example, is especially sharp. Oh, but the, the windows still look like crap. That's funny. Okay. Is this a thing you can do in real life? Can you just steal an ambulance and take people to the hospital and no one will suspect you? Ma'am! Oh. oh my god! She's just, like, leaking blood! This poor woman! Okay. I love how she was just standing there calmly and able to easily slowly walk to the ambulance, but she was literally dripping blood. Ugh, I love San Andreas. This game is so goofy. What? Can I not? Ha. Huh? I okay. Don't waste my time. I'm jacking your sorry ass, punk. San Andreas just can't get enough of the glory hole theme park. No, no. This is another car that's ridiculously fast. Like you just hold down W and you're just gone. Whoa, eee. Those trees don't look quite right. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Me gusta. Yes. So this is absolutely not something that was in San Andreas. I don't know if the Deluxo was in GTA 4 either. I think this might be a GTA 5 only. Oh my god, this car is fast. Can it fly like the... No, you can't fly it like the Deluxo in GTA 5. Ugh. Oh. Awesome. There's another one! Oh, oh yes, it's the thing where you where you find a cool car in GTA and then there's like twelve of them. I'm noticing that Okay. I'm noticing that on a lot of the cars the right tail light is green in the center and the left one is yellow. Not sure what that's all about. Oh, but, oh my god. Good ad there. Alright, let's get battle on out of here and see what else uh, what else we can do. I really don't like the motion blur. Is there a way to, to solve that? Oh no no no, you're you're my gang members. I was about to run these guys over. Okay. No! Oh man. I. Where's my mouse? Again, I like the new loading screen music. It sounds reasonably San Andreas y. It, it fits the feel, you know? Okay, let's... Oh. 
Let's go back to our taxi missions for a second and uh in darkness. You only and, and, and earn some money so we can do things. Shit. I was about to brag, like, oh, this has got to be the fastest anyone's ever done a taxi mission. This has got to be a speedrun record. And because I was thinking about that, and how cool it would be to say it, I missed the turn. That's how good I am at video games, everyone. Okay. Hello. Whoa. What's going on with, with, with that? That... That doesn't look right. I mean, it's not like a glitch or anything, it's just a weird, weird texture. Okay. It did that last time too. Said the game couldn't open while the game's already running. So far, I mean, I'd give this, I'd give this a good 8 out of 10. It could use some polish, but as far as I know, it's still a work in progress. And the, uh, the creators of this mod are still, you know, working through some of the issues. You may laugh and be like, oh wow, Dana, you're such a horrible taxi driver. But this is completely realistic if you've ever taken a taxi in New York. I swear, every time I've been to New York City, I have almost died in a taxi. And this is like five separate occasions. Oh. Oh, never mind. Huh. That is definitely like GTA 5, maybe GTA 4. That's GTA 4 and 5. So, I don't know how they did that. If it's like a if they were able to just pull the models from the games, because they look they look exactly like the, the ones in GTA 4 and 5, or if they meticulously remodeled every single vehicle in their new engine. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm ditching the taxi. No more taxi missions because I want that car back there. Damn it! Where did it go? Uh, never mind. I didn't want it anyway. I was just joking. Okay. The text at the... What happened to you? The text at the bottom of the screen said Clover when I got into this vehicle. That's definitely not what it's called. Um, it's... Vigoro. There it is. Yeah. That's what it's called in uh, GTA 4. Oh, hey. Oh, there's the car. I'm sorry, cops, but I need this car. <laughs> Give me the fucking car. There's a gritty new show this It's a career I'm sorry, police. Yeah, here, come with me. <laughs> We're friends now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. There he goes. Wait, a news van came to film. <laughs> no witnesses. <laughs> Give me that, like, three dollars. Hey, stop. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That looks odd. Oh, I like that paint on this car back here. That looks quite good. What is this establishment? I was over here earlier and I forgot to investigate because I got caught up in doing something else, but... What's... what are you? What is this? Flowers? Oh. <gasps> Boobies! Boobies! So this is, uh, this is for scientific research. 
Oh, never mind. There's no one here. <laughs> there's one. There's one person. The hell? There's no one here. What? What is this? Oh, did they do a cute Easter egg? They might have done a cute Easter egg. I love when developers do this. The image is a little too blurry to see, but those could be like, you know, 3D models that the developers were creating for the game, and they took a screenshot of them and put them on the monitor. I've done that in some of my, like, 3D models, where I take a picture of Cinema 4D and, and stick it somewhere. But <laughs> I really hope that's what that is, because that's adorable. Damn. Everyone here just despawned. That's... Glad I've never had sex, because if you just vanish... Damn, I mean... That's crazy, man. Oh, good! My car didn't mysteriously vanish while I was in there. Good... good driving. Oh, that damage looks really good, the windshield crack. And the engine model looks stellar! That's very good looking. It's not just like a flat PNG, it's actually... Like, there, there's stuff there. It's a 3D model that, that they made. That's fantastic. I want to blow some more cars up, because the explosions look very good. I need a... I need the gun. Okay. No, wait, I already had a gun. I forgot. Oh no. Whoa! Hello? It's a self driving police car! Whoa! Do you have an SMG? Yes, you do! Excellent! Oh no, not a... Did they really have to send a helicopter? How do you switch weapons? Whoa! Okay, so it's like... It's like GTA 5. You switch weapons using the wheel. Oh, that's cool. So this is, uh, this is really, um, just GTA 5 on the HUD side, and I, I like that. Personally, I do prefer the GTA, uh, GTA San Andreas weapon switching. However, everything else is pretty cool. I feel like it just takes more time to switch weapons in this version than it does in, you know, San Andreas, because you gotta pull up the wheel and everything. Oh no. Get out, get out, get out! They're all just gonna stand there while I blow up their car. Oh no, 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 no. I just wanna blow up the police car because it, I think it'll be cool. Yes! The explosions look so good! I'm pretty low on health, I should probably, like, run. Oh, this is- this is so fun. I forgot how much I love San Andreas. Hello. Hello, Mr. Missing Texture. Or rather, Mr. Wacky Lighting. Because he's receiving like 800% of ambient light. He's so white that he's like reflective. I think I might have outrun them. Oh! Wow, look at the reflections on the road. Now, I don't know why dry concrete would be reflective like this, 
but either way, it looks really good at night. Where are they? The hell did they go? Oh yeah, that looks good. The reflections. The blood also looks fantastic. It's a it's a little silly when they just explode into blood. These guys can't aim for shit. They wouldn't shoot a man in an ambulance, would they? <laughs> that would be very cruel. <laughs> oh, I see it still has the goofy physics. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh my god, yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, can I not make people moist? Oh, I can. It's just a little messed up. The water looks weird coming out. You can't see it at night. But you can you can still uh, cause moist. Hey, helicopter, catch. <laughs> I don't think this is working. I don't think water will stop them. No, oh, they're too strong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need more... I need more bullet. <laughs> yes! Oh, that looks cool! That is a good-looking explosion. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like all the cops in the world are around that corner. All right. Okay, so to be clear, to switch weapons, you don't use the scroll wheel. You hold down middle click, and you move the mouse to select weapons from the wheel. So it's completely different than San Andreas. God damn you, I just shot down the other one. Five stars, let's go. I'm surprised that I've lived this long, considering my skill or lack thereof. Stop. Holy shit. What if I said it's just a prank, bro? Then they then they would then they would leave me alone. Here we go. Okay, they'll they'll never kill me in this. What? How is it already? No. Okay, we had a we had a good run. That was fun. That was really awesome. This game is this game is great. I love this. Okay, let's do some more messing around. Let's see if there's any like actual missions I can do. So I see you don't start from the beginning of the game. You've already got a house up there and uh let's see. Yeah, you've already got a few safe houses and, and that sort of thing. Might as well go up there, see what's see what's going on. Oops. Man, they keep- people just keep dying right in front of me. I don't know what's happening. This is so tragic. However, I do suppose it's ethical that since he no longer needs this. Oh, that was pretty cool. Oh wait, I did want to test if there's like ragdoll physics. If you smash into something? There, there isn't really a, a, a ragdoll. Wow, that motorcycle model looks really good. But there isn't really a, a ragdoll for when you smash into something. You just kind of, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I need the Deluxo. Bonk. Whoa. 
it just stopped turning right for a second there. That was silly. Alright, I believe I've got a safe house here, so I'm gonna go check this out. Or is this a house for sale? No, it's a house for sale. I'm stupid. I drove all this way for this house to not be mine. Awesome. Okay, so you can still get insane stunt bonuses. I'm glad they kept that feature in, because that's one of my favorite things in San Andreas. If you're just driving around having fun, and then you drive off a cliff by accident, and then you get, like, $300 for it. Ugh, I'm gonna die. No, nope, I won't. Haha, <laughs> L. The explosions look insanely good. And I know I've said that a zillion times. They look a lot better than that grass, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, hello. I was about to say I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no way I'll find a car, but there's a road right here. See what I mean about the uh, the yellow and the green taillight? Hi, what are you? Okay. Let's cruise this way. It seems like there's more variety in the vehicles than there is in San Andreas. I mean, I love San Andreas, but a lot of the cars all kind of look the same. But when they're higher definition and there's more available colors and all that good stuff, uh, it, it really, really makes the game feel different in a good way. That's from GTA 4. Let's skedaddle on this way. Oh, tractor! What? Where did that guy come from? Where did he come from? <laughs> did he come out of the ground? Was he in my car? Oh no 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 no! I don't want the tractor anymore. I want this. Yes, please. I love listening to ads while I cultivate my fields. Oh, this is excellent. This is what gaming is. That truck just appeared. So there's some pop-in with the vehicles, but it's nothing horrible. I mean, nothing worse than, you know, good old San Andreas. I hope I can, like, shred cars with this. Oh. Oh. The escape. This is probably just a typical farming implement, but I want this to be a weapon of mass destruction. Can I, like... Oh! Wow! So it's definitely, um, good against humans. Unfortunately, I don't think you can just tear cars to bits with this like I hoped you could. Come on. Oh no. No, 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 stop. No, uh-oh. Okay. I meant to do that. I meant to do that, guys. It's okay. I'm sorry, sir, but I, um, I need this for a science project. Oh, actually, no. No, sorry. You can have that back. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm gonna need to borrow your car. Please don't fight me. Dude, I gave you your car back. Why are you mad at me? The headlights aren't very effective. They do have a nice reflection on the ground, uh, and the taillights have a good reflection on the road, but they seem to illuminate very little. Let's go, uh, let's go this way for a little bit, see what we find. Yeah, I think I'm pretty close to seeing all there is to see in this amazing San Andreas fan remaster. No, I want to go this way and then across that bridge to the... to the over there. I kind of want to check out the airport where that plane just flew into. Because I feel like that'll be cool. I don't think I've ever flown... No, I... I what am I talking about? I've, of course I've flown planes in GTA San Andreas. But I want to see if... 
they handle more like GTA 4 and 5 or more like San Andreas? Oh, boats! Oh, I also want to check out some boats. Oh, I was about to say if the game freezes now. Hey, look, it's Twitter! They put Twitter! They put Twitter in GTA San Andreas! Holy shit! <laughs> Hey, hello, hello friend. I'd like to talk to you about our savior, Jesus Christ. God damn, that's crazy. They named a city in Florida after this car? All right. Yeah, uh, 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 policeman, this is not stolen. I bought this car. <laughs> okay. So let's get into the airport, then let's maybe mess around with the boat. I mean, I... I was thinking I was going to wrap up soon, but there's so much we still haven't done. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I've been filming for uh, about an hour. The fog. The fog here looks great. There we go. There is airport. How do I get to airport, though? If it wasn't foggy, then I could actually see... Oh! Ooh, that almost ended poorly. Wow! Okay. Oh, never mind. Where's the other side of that? I, I just need to borrow a plane. I'll give it back. Hey! What the hell are you doing? You idiot! How do I get plane? It's been a while since I've played, like, actual San Andreas. So I've forgotten how you, uh, legitimately obtain all of the, the things, you know? Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, car. Come on, asshole, damn. Fight. Damn. I... I was hoping I could, um... Push. Oh, there's a dock. I'm an idiot. I could just get to it by the... How did I take damage from that? I fell like two inches. Alright, looks like we're doing it this way. Help. I'm... I'm stuck. There we go. What? You're... you're kidding. Damn, I came over here... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I really thought I could get to the, the airport by doing that. Evidently, can't. Well, there was an airport at the, uh, at the start of the game. We, we started at the airport. Yeah, we started at Los Santos International. So this one might actually be a little easier to uh, borrow a plane from. Maybe. I'm on the second level here. No! God! Uh, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I, I meant to do that. Okay, let's... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here are planes. Oh, good. There are some here. Sorry. Yeah, again, I need like a tall vehicle so I can climb in there. Or, you know, I could just like... There we go, it was that easy. Well, um, we're, we're, we're not gonna talk about what happened there. <sighs> Are there any others? I hope so. It's a goddamn airport. This is the lamest airport I've ever been to. They've got one plane and it's on fire. 
When I was a kid, I didn't want a Ferrari. I didn't want a Lamborghini. I didn't want a Mercedes. You know what I wanted? I wanted one of these. I would go to airports and I would just like look at these for hours while waiting for the flight and I'd just <laughs> I'd be like, well, how do I buy one of these? Oh! In fact, this is better than the plane. I'm glad we came to the airport just so I could use one of these. <laughs> this is the best vehicle in the game. Okay, let's try this little plane after... After I look at the flying controls. Oh, you fly with mouse. Okay. I'm an idiot. I forgot that this doesn't control like GTA 5. I, I'm so used to everything looking like GTA 5. Why are there just like cars just driving here? Oh no, oh no, oh no. So now I've broken two planes. No, I don't want to get back in it, it's, it's on fire. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, I can just push it. I can just push the plane. <laughs> Let me do this, I can just push the plane onto the runway. <laughs> The billowing black smoke that's destroying my graphics cards is not an issue. Uh, who is honking at me? I still don't know how to fly. How do I fly this? <laughs> Okay, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. I loved taking a look at this awesome remaster, this awesome next-gen edition of GTA. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So let me know down in the comments if you liked it. Subscribe if you enjoyed. But for now, that's it. So I hope you'll come back next time. And most of all, I hope you enjoyed.